We have an update now on the strike at the University of California. Some employees have reached a tentative agreement. And Alex Capriello, he's live at UCLA with details on the agreement and why this strike is far from over. Alex, good morning to you. Adrian, good morning to you. It's 5.30 in the morning here on the West Coast, and even still, we're seeing some strikers gather here on the UCLA campus. The picket lines still fully formed. Now, a tentative agreement has been reached for some 12,000 of these employees, which will still need a vote to be ratified, but there's still no insight for the strike. Keep in mind, there's about 36,000 other employees that still need to reach their agreement, and that's really causing some major disruptions for hundreds of thousands of students all across California. There's a renewed sense of optimism at UC schools across the state of California. Two of the four bargaining groups have reached a tentative agreement elevating pay and working conditions for 12,000 postdoctoral employees and academic researchers. Even still, the picket lines will remain in solidarity for the 36,000 others hoping for a pay increase and added benefits. It's an important fight for us to be able to build a contract that makes sure that we can are compensated fairly, that we are able to pay for rent, that we're able to uh, survive here in the city that demands so much from us. Now in its third week, the strike has disrupted learning for some 300,000 UC students across 12 campuses. Allie Polanski, a senior at UCLA, says some of her lectures have been moved online and her weekly discussion sessions with TAs have been canceled. That's critical learning time to ask questions and understand concepts. And with winter finals scheduled for next week, some exams may be forced to cancel. I do have a final paper due this Friday, but it's a little bit confusing because the TA was supposed to grade it, and I don't know how the professor is going to grade like 400, you know, six page, seven page papers. The possibility of canceled exams and final papers prompted the chair of the Academic Senate at UC Irvine to caution against it, writing that faculty should consider how such a change may affect students, especially those who are expecting upcoming assignments or exams to improve their grades. Their disappointment could lead to grade disputes and pursuance of formal appeals. Now, when we speak to education experts about this strike, they say it really could serve as a benchmark for higher education all across the nation. There are fewer tenured professors at universities all across America, with more universities opting to bring in graduate assistants and teaching assistants to handle the bulk of the work. So when you look at this from a far off view, seeing 48,000 strikers really bring the UC system to a standstill, it might encourage other TAs, graduate assistants, postdoctoral students as well to you know, really fight for their own rights and seek higher benefits and higher pay as well. Adrian. All right, Alex, thank you very much. We'll see what happens. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.